apocalypse is upon us. <laughs> I knew Jordan was green. <laughs> Did you know that 70% of project failures are the result of poor requirements? You may not know this, I work in the IT department at AAA, and I help elicit the information necessary to build applications of different sorts, whether it be websites or process improvements or new pieces of software. And every now and then, something fails. <laughs> we spend an immense amount of time building these products and websites to discover it doesn't meet the need. On average, poor requirements practices waste 34% of an IT department's budget. Our annual IS budget is $25 million. We're wasting $8.75 million. And 34% of your hardworking time as you programmers and quality assurance analysts, you might as well be sitting in the cafeteria drinking coffee for that 34%, because 34% of your effort is going out the window. We don't want waste. Our department has so much freaking work, we can't complete it all. We're constantly hiring contractors to, to cover the overflow, and hiring contractors, as we know, is not the most efficient way to get it done because we have limitations in our contractor time frames. Waste isn't really an option. What we really need is better requirements practices. Requirements maturity, that being the practice of being competent in the management and elicitation of requirements, ranges on a scale from zero to five. AAA as an organization is at level one, barely over zero. Our department, thankfully, is more like level two because we have more practice, we have more experience in managing requirements than the travel department say, or the discounts. <coughs> so we fare a little bit better than the other departments, but that's not to say we don't have a lot of room to improve. Four levels to improve and improve. Have you ever been on a project that looked a lot like Homer Simpson's car, the one that he designed for his brother? It had a loudspeaker on top and a Popemobile dome on the back. You ever been a part of a project like that that just went south? Yeah, we all have. I know you guys have, but my department has. When it just seems like an immense waste of time, why do we want to bother doing that? We don't. Did you know that the, suddenly forgot the name of this plane. What's the name of this plane? SST. No! no that's the Concorde. Concorde, that's yes. Yeah. The Concorde project, a partnership yeah. between Britain and France. Its original budget was $95 million. <clears throat> the actual cost, $1.1 billion dollars. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So don't feel too bad when your project goes awry. Just think how bad that project was. <laughs> what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do to make sure that our department starts managing our requirements better? We're going to introduce something called the business objectives model. What we currently do is we go to the stakeholders and the project sponsors and say, what do you need? I need a feature that does X and I need another feature that does Y. We're not going to do that anymore. We're going to ask, why do you need that feature? And why do you need that feature? And why do you need that feature? And why do you need that feature? We're going to ask until we get the answer, what is the benefit that you're going to get out of it? I'm looking for a two-man person reduction in my department by the efficiency of reducing the effort we put into X, Y, Z. Okay, well, that feature is not going to do that for you. And that's where that 34% of waste comes in. And we're not going to build those features anymore. We're only going to build the features that add value. The next thing we're going to do is rank our requirements. As I just explained, we only want to build requirements features that make sense. So we'll have our stakeholders look at the requirements and we'll also estimate each requirement. Say this one's going to take 40 hours. This one's going to take 160 hours. Are you really going to get 160 hours worth of savings out of that requirement? Is that necessary? We'll try to eliminate as much as we can. And then that will reduce our project sizes from 100 hours to 50 hours. And now we have 50 hours to sit in the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> or do more work. <laughs> We're also going to improve the amount of time we spend on visual models. Right now, 
you're used to seeing a bunch of statements. The, prop, the application should do X, the application should do Y. Here's a process flow diagram. Well, we're going to include a lot more detail. What we discovered is that we're writing a document that is needed by the developers. You need to have sufficient detail in there. You need to have data flow diagrams to understand the data dictionaries to know what data is being passed to what entity and that kind of thing. But the quality assurance analysts use this document as well to test the application. And they need a completely different look into the requirements. They need visuals. They need to see screenshots. They need to see this is what was going to be changed in the application. The stakeholders, on the other hand, need something that's more high level. They don't need detail. They don't need to know if this field is going to move and that field is going to be transmitted. They need to see visual models. They need to understand this feature is going to accomplish this business task for me. So we'll be adding a lot more effort into our visual models. We're going to add images it's right in the requirements. QA love this, as I mentioned. Ranking the requirements. We'll add color to the diagrams. And we'll be doing a lot more planning of our requirement solicitation process. Every requirement needs to have a lot more of a narrative. We're used to seeing one-line requirements. The system should do this. Why? How do you know the system needs to do that? We're going to add information about the background. This, this requirement was brought about by Tom, who said blah, 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 and we expect to get this value out of this requirement. At the end of doing some, implementing some of these changes, hopefully we'll get to level two in our maturity, and we can all throw a big party in the cafeteria. Thanks very much. Not that I get my opinion of things, but...